He's a wonderful presence. Johnny is, is one of the most gifted actors we have. He is uh, a truly gifted character actor that is trapped in a leading man's body. He's, there's no one else like him. And he's, um, to add on top of that, to the unfairness and torture of that, he's also a wonderful person, wonderful human being. And, um, and, and I could not have asked for a better co-star. Our, our experiences as women are as varied and nuanced and uh, layered as, as men. Uh, and, and, and unfortunately, when we look at how we're portrayed in art and we look at how we're portrayed in movies, which are supposed to be a representation of life, uh, there's a, a deficit, a cruel deficit of the varying scope of variety and nuance available to characters that are supposed to be portraying women and the vast variety of things that we are. You opened up to Elle recently about, you know, being married. What's your favorite thing about being married? They always say I opened up because I, <laughs> <laughs> I said I was, because I confirmed. Question. I said, yes, I am. Um, I said I'm a happily married woman, and I'll say it again. I'm a happily married woman. And again, if that's the version of opening up, then <laughs> That's it, I'm open So tonight, up. my husband will be Amber Heard. It will say, oh, Amber Heard. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I said, I'm um, very happy. I don't have social media, so right. I, don't, I don't know. But I do, I am aware mm -hmm. that it is happening. I'm aware of this phenomenon. And I think it's really interesting to look at how it's affecting, especially younger, younger girls mm -hmm. um, that are raised in a, in a, in a, in a culture. This is just... Uh, a, a part of their everyday life is this re su superficial representation and, um, and, and promotion of themselves in this way. Um, but for me, I, I think, with, with my life, I think it's m the most precious thing I can have is privacy, and, 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 and so I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any yeah. <laughs> reason or desire to want to put it out there. Nothing. But 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 I understand a lot of people do and why they would. You know, a lot of people. Um, find ways to do it, you know, for, 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 for good and to control their, the representations of, of themselves, which I think actors typically or celebrities typically have not had control mm -hmm. over for a long time. I'm really excited to be 30. Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, you know, your 20s are, I feel like when I ask women this often, my friends say that, 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 that it's the, one, some of the hardest years of the 20s. I don't know who said the standard that that's supposed to be the most fun, but I think I've I've lived enough life in my 20s. I'm looking forward to um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to this new kind of chapter, if you want to look at it that way. I'm excited to be you know even more of a woman. That's yeah. what it feels like. Violence against women is an issue that transcends all social, economic, geographic boundaries. Everyone is affected. It's a global issue and it's an issue that has uh, been relegated m mostly to the private sector. It's yes. largely unspoken about, underrepresented, underreported. It is internationally the most underreported crime. It affects uh, women uh, it di it, at a disproportionate level and it's it does so silently and unless we raise awareness and talk about it and bring it to light we can't change the system It maintains the silence you know we can't change it unless we talk about it and it's really easy to not change it if we don't see the faces we don't see who our rules our systems are hurting it's an issue that happens predominantly behind closed doors. Violence against women is an unseen thing. Even economic violence against women, it's an unseen thing. And us women are strong and we endure and we have a lot of stuff to do in our life. So if we stopped and talked about it and, and, and cried every single time an injustice befell us, we would have no time in the day. And so here we are enduring and surviving almost too much. And I wanna just be one of the many, many voices right now of women, of countless women who are standing up and saying, enough is enough, hear me too, yes, me too, time's up. <laughs>